Okay, this is video two, practicing our Afrikaans pronunciation by using music. Again, we are using the song Law Sloppy by um, Kurt Darren. Music is such a wonderful way to learn language. It creates the, the patterns in your brain. It builds your vocabulary. It helps you um, with the repetition without being too tedious. And also, if you don't hear the language around you a lot, then it's a great way for you to expose yourself to it. So, yeah, um, it'll be much more helpful if you watch video one in which I break down the pronunciation of each line. Okay, now we're going to focus on, in this video, what we're going to focus on is translating the lines. Okay, great. So that's ooh, just like ooh. Ooh, ek wil huistu gaan. It means Ooh, I want to, so that will, will, not will, it's will, um, speaks about your will. I have the will or the desire to go home. Hoist, this, um, these two words put together there, hoist is a home. Hoistu, so it's like in the direction of my home. Khan, na mama tu. I want to go to mama, okay? Die rivier is full, that's an easy one, the river is full. Maitrana ro. Maitrana ro means my tears are rolling. So in other words, I'm crying so hard that I could fill a whole river. Die rivier is vol, my trana ro. A boki wat vanant by my vele. So this word boki is very interesting here in Afrikaans. Um, a boki refers to a buck. As you know, in Africa, we have lots and lots of antelope. And Afrikaans-speaking people just love their animals, especially our Bura. They love um, animals and antelope. You can ask most Bura people anything you would like about African animals, particularly antelope. So Bura is sort of an affectionate name for the Afrikaans people. Um, another group of people that speak um, Afrikaans is my people, um, the brainos, basically, that's one of our names. Um, and we love we love using this word boki as a term of endearment. So when you call someone a buck or a boki, it basically means your love. In this case, they're speaking about a girl. In other words, a young, attractive girl. Vat fanant, fanant means tonight. Again, it's one of those two words that are squished together. Aunt means night. Fun means of. So fanant means tonight. So, a young hot lady that, who tonight, by may vele, vel again means want to. So basically, the sentence means a young girl who wants to lie by me tonight, right? Say kan mar le. So that that sentence means she might as well lie there. Okay, mar usually means but. In this case, it means rather. But the whole sentence implies she might as well lie there. Okay? So just to reiterate these two lines. A boki vat fanant by may vale se kamale. This hottie that wants to lie next to me tonight, she might as well lie there. Ak as a los lapi. Interesting, interesting. Even I had to look up this word because um, I'm much more of an English speaker. I was wondering what they meant by los lapi because the direct translation los means loose, lapi means cloth. So I was like, what does he mean a loose cloth? And I looked it up in Ur Urban Dictionary. A los lapi, it seems, is a stud, a man who's always busy. He gets all the girls. He enjoys his sports. He's always busy in his business. He's always got stuff going on for him. So it seems to be a very positive um, word. When it refers to men, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be so positive when it refers to the ladies. There seems to be a bit of slut shaming going on if you call a lady a law slappy. But apparently, if you call a guy a law slappy, it seems that that's a compliment to him, okay? So I guess he's saying, she might as well lie there, I am a stud. Okay? So now, verse one, very, very beautiful. The the green in the verses is always going to repeat. So you're really going to build this vocabulary if you could learn it. Shouldn't be that hard. The only words that tend to change are the ones in purple, okay? Verse one. Ak vens akit flarke swissa arent. What a beautiful line. It says, I wish I had, this is in present tense, 
but I wish that I could have. Flarka, which means wings, Swiss are ardent. I wish that I had wings like an eagle. Ua, so that's like the English O. Ua, dan vlieg ek maar vir ewig oor die see. It's like, I'm, that, I might as well fly forever over the sea. Dan vlieg ek na die, dan vlieg ek na die arms van my moeder. Oh, then I'll fly to the arms of my mother. En daar sal ek bly tot die dood. So he's basically saying, I wish that I could have wings like an eagle because then I would fly forever over the sea. I'd fly into the arms of my mother and I would stay in my mother's arms um, until I die. Right, then it's the chorus again. O, ek wil huis toe gaan na mama toe, die rivier is vol my draande rol. A bokkie wat vanavond by my wil, wil le, sy kan my le ek as a los lappie. So then we've got verse number two, the only other verse, right? And it goes, Ek wens, ek het flerke. So again, I wish I could have wings. But this time he goes, Soos a engelkie, like a little angel. Engel over there is the word for angel. And this little um, T-I-E, sometimes spelled differently in different words, but that basically um, means that it's diminutive, a little angel. We don't use as many diminutives in English. You know, we might say a dog and a doggy, a cat and a kitty, and that's, that's us using diminutives, right? And we don't just say a little angely, but in Afrikaans, almost every word can have a diminutive, right? So a little teeny tiny angel. Okay? Ek wens, ek het flerkes, we say engelki. I wish I had wings like an angel. Dan vlieg ek dier die tronkse tralies heen. I just think that's so beautiful, that alliteration there. Um, very good for your pronunciation as well. Dan vlieg, you can practice all your chiz there. Dan vlieg ek, so then I would fly dier, which in this context means through. Dier could mean through, it could also mean a door, which is easy to remember because a door is a place that you go through, so... And vlieg ek dier die tronkse tralies. That s over there denounces um, um, belonging. Right? Or underscores belonging is probably a better way of expressing it. Die tronkse tralies heen. So what he's saying is, this word tronk means Jane, jail, sorry. This word tronk is jail. This word tralies is bars. So he's saying, I would fly right through the bars of the jail. Right? Dan vlieg ek dier die tronkse tralies heen. So if I had little wings like an angel, a little tiny angel, I would fly right through um, the bars of the jail. Once again, the bridge. O, dan vlieg ek na die arms van my moeder. So, oh, I would fly to the arms of my mother. In daar sal ek bly tot die dood. And there I would stay to my death. Now I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's been helpful to you. If you enjoy my videos, please do like and subscribe. Thank you so much. I hope that you have a good time learning Afrikaans. I hope it's been demystified for you. And sending you lots and lots of love. Bye.